Hey guys, DJ Dude Five One Two back on the air. Now, today the iOS 4.1 beta it dropped. As you can see, I've now got Game Center on my iPhone 3G. And if I go into my settings, general about my iDevice now says I am on 4.1. 8B5080 C. Now, just to make sure that I'm, it's completely true, <coughs> we're going to get forecast to identify if the damn thing decides it wants to work. Uh, let's try that again. So there we go, iPhone 3G firmware 4.1 connected. Now, you can, uh, the jailbreak I'm about to show you only works on the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2nd Gen non-MC model. If you need a unlock, then I would stay the hell clear away from this firmware. So, uh, And also your iPhone or iPod Touch needs to be linked to a developer's UDID account. Now, I've got here both my iPhone 1 2, uh, my iPhone 4.0 and 4.1 beta firmwares. Now, obviously, you're going to need this firmware to actually update your iPhone, uh, which you can get from iPhone4beta.info. Info will be in the bottom bar. Now, we're, we're also going to need our iPhone 4.0 firmware. So, if you haven't got that, I advise getting it from FelixBruns.de or get the GM from, yet again, iPhone iPhone beta 4. Now the jailbreak we're going to use here is one that I'm sure we're all pretty familiar with right now. We're going to be using the Red Snow 4.0 jailbreak. So we're just going to select our 4.0 firmware. That's 4.0 not 4.1. <coughs> and as we can see it's Accepted 4.0. Now, just to prove this is a 3G, I have no Molly's task at the moment, which is one thing that will be rectified by doing the jailbreak. And obviously, I don't have the home screen wallpaper. So, I'm also going to enable verbose boot. I'm going to give it a custom boot. And I'm going to get a custom recovery. So then we want to go next. We want to power off our iPhone or iPod Touch. <coughs> and then next. So we want to hold. Oh, eh. Okay, sorry, this is hard to do one handed. And we should be in DFU in any second now. Provide my VM, it doesn't bug up. So now we're just waiting for the jailbreak. Everything up, everything's uploading. And there we go. It's now uploading RAM disk. I don't know if it's taking any longer because it's on a VMware, but it's usually done quicker than this on my Mac Mini. But I can't record my Mac Mini due to the fact that I don't have a webcam for it.
Carl's almost done. I'm sure it's just taking longer because it's a VMware. Okay, so now that the rest of this process takes place on your device, so we're done with Fred's now. So there we go, we're already jailbreaking. And there we go, device is finally rebooting. What the hell took it so My custom boot logo. My verbose boot. <laughs> Sorry that this is taking longer than I expected, guys. So there we go, our device is finally rebooted. I know iPhone 3Ds usually take painstakingly long to load anyway, but that's ridiculous. So we've got the home screen wallpaper. It's going strangely fast. Got my battery percentage back. And I've got the horrible multitasking back. Huzzah! So let's put up Cydia. And there we go. It's all working fine and dandy. So that's how you jailbreak the iOS 4.1 on iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G. Remember, this is only for a Mac, your iPhone's UDID has to be linked to a developer account. Um, if you rely on an unlock, then stay away. So that's all for guys now. That's that's it for now guys. When the next jailbreak comes out for 4.1, whether it be final or betas, I'll keep you noted. Catch you later guys.